good evening friends how are you i hope you are all doing well i'm also great having a great time so today i'm going to show you how you can install uh, a ssl certificate in aws in 2022 so this is a new year and uh, this is my first video for 2022 and i'm going to show you how you can install ssl certificate so far i see a lot of people wanted to know about um, the os and uh, other things this example what i am showing today it's going to only work with uh, amazon linux 2. so if you want to use for different operating system like ubuntu like centos or maybe other things social linux you need to follow my other tutorials other guides go to my channel and search for the particular operating system this particular example is only work for amazon linux 2 and it will i cannot guarantee to work with any other systems and platforms so please be sure on that and also keep in mind that i'm going to use apache for the web server it's not nginx i have other tutorials for nginx so today what i'm going to show you is uh, create a new city instance set up uh, apache server set up php 8 set up uh, install let's encrypt point our domain or subdomain to that particular ip address and then issue a new ssl certificate so let's get started first i am in the uh, dashboard of my ct console and i'm going to launch a new instance let's go to launch and then um, they are creating a new view I'm going to try it now. This is the new view for 2022. That's what I'm going to show you. So you see, it's new. Um, the old layout was there for a long, long time, and people was complained why it's not changing. And we have a new change. So let's try to uh, give it a name. SSL, sorry, SSL, Amazon Linux 2. That's I'm going to give a name. You can give any name as you want. Then I'm going to use Amazon Linux, Amazon Linux, and then uh, Amazon Linux 2, 64-bit, x86. These are all predefined. That's good. Then I'm going to choose T2 Micro because it belongs to free tier. You can change to anyone you want. Key pair, I'm going to create a new key pair here. So click here, create new key pairs. We, I will give you 10, Feb 2022. I'm going to keep it PIM and also RSA. So create a PIM here. Okay, I downloaded that. Network settings allow SSH from anywhere. That's uh, not going to do that. It's not safe. Allow HTTPS, that's true. Allow HTTPS, I'm going to open so and the disk space eight gigabyte that should be fine anything else ip address um, that's fine iam instance profile there is not i need to create a new instance profile i'm going to create it right now just a moment so um shutdown behavior stop termination protection i should check enable because this will prevent you to terminate this instance accidentally so sometimes if you click accidentally to terminate it will not happen it will prevent it and um, everything as it is we keep default and then click launch so it's now one single page previously it was multiple pages but now it's only one okay so we have it all the instances let's refresh it is launching while it's launching i'm going to create an iam instance profile or role so i'm going to uh, go to iam and then i'm going to create a new role so that um, i can uh, connect to my instance from the terminal from from here from console so to do that, I'm going to go to IAM, there it is. I'm going to create a new role. 
create a new role and then uh, it should be AWS services. It should be for uh, EC2 and it should be um, uh, systems SSM. Systems manager, that's one. Yes. And next. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, it should be for you, EC2 instance. Next, from here, I need to choose systems manager. SSM search for SSM. There should be SSM full permissions, AWS SSM full access. Let's click this and click next. I'm giving a name, EC2 role and create the role. Okay. The rule has been created. Now I go to my instance and I click actions. I click security. Uh, let's refresh this page. I click on actions. I click on security. I click on modify IAM role. And here I'm going to choose the role that I have just created. Save. Okay, so uh, this is for the new account, but once you have created this role, you don't need to follow this step anymore because you have already the role. Uh, next time you can just edit the security and add the role. But this is a new account, so I'm going to do this on my own. Let's click on instance ID, let's refresh. And then uh, click on connect. Let's see if we can connect or still cannot connect. That means I need to go to systems manager. And I need to create a profile over there. Please remember that this is for only for the first time. Later on, you don't need to do this. So get you started with systems manager. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan for all the EC2 instances and create an inventory in Systems Manager. Okay, uh, get started. Okay, all instances and create. So I'm going to create the profile. This might take around one or two minutes, so please be patient. Okay, while it's loading, I'm going to refresh this screen. Let's see if I can connect to the instance now still not because this hasn't been finished yet so let's just wait one more minute okay meanwhile i'm going to copy the commands which is uh, available in my website uh, you can also go to aws with atik.com and um, there are some examples different examples one for php 8 with nginx i'm going to copy this but uh, not with nginx but for so what I'm going to do is just execute these commands there. I'm going to search for another one with atik.com and in the search bar I will uh, 
search for let's encrypt and i'm going to get this so this is a uh, tutorial on how to install let's encrypt on amazon linux 2 so that is also uh, good let's refresh this and see if this is happening Sometimes it takes five or four minutes, but this is only one time. You don't need to do this on multiple times. This is my new account. So I have to do this. But let's see if, if this is done here as well. I refresh this page. Click on connect. Yes. So you see there is no error. That means your profile setup with systems manager has been done and you can now connect to your system. That's great. Okay, so there is the terminal. Um, I make the terminal a bit bigger so that you can see it. There it is. Okay, great. So pretty much simple sudo yam update minus y this is the very first command that you should do i copy it here paste yes. okay i clear the screen so you can see in the top then i'm going to run this command i copy this upload this so what it says here that uh, I'm going to enable uh, a PHP version and I want to use PHP 8 rather than PHP uh, 7.4. So re replacing 7.4 with 8.0. 8.0. This will uh, enable PHP 8 into the Amazon Linux Extra. Then I can install it. So let's clear the screen one more time. And then uh, run this command. then i'm going to install apache which is called httpd and mod ssl so that's done clear the screen then i'm going to install the php extensions that is required These are pretty much standard extensions that you should always install. But if you have additional, you can just install those independently. I'll just copy a few more. These are the common extensions that I always, that I always use. And here it is. Let me clear my screen. Then. I'm going to run this command. It's a very interesting command. What it says is uh, sudo systemctl start httpd. That means it will start the Apache server. Now I can check the instance. Go to, oh, the screen is bigger because I make it bigger. I can copy the uh, public IP and then browse it here. Then I will see Apache default page. So that means my HTTP server setup was done. What I'm going to do is sudo systemctl enable httpd this is a good practice because um, if you re reboot your uh, server then uh, it will not start automatically to start automatically you need to use sudo systemctl enable httpd okay. then uh, what i'm going to do is install the uh, let's encrypt to do this, you need to enable EPEL. So I just run this command and then I'm going to enable uh, EPEL. Okay, I clear my screen. I have enabled EPEL. Then I'm going to install um, this. Sartboard. A sartboard is a tool 
that is used by Let's Encrypt to install SSL certificates. Okay, that's been done. So let's just sudo support Apache. Okay. Before uh, running sudo support Apache, I need to create a virtual host. Why? Because you need to have a virtual host that points to a domain to the server, a domain or subdomain. So how, how can I do this? Pretty much simple. I need to, um, I have an example for a virtual host uh, configuration, but let's see if I have here. Okay. I can just search here into my website, virtual host, and it should show me some example virtual hosts. Uh, this is for NGNX. Yes, this is how to create a virtual host in Apache 2.4. That's the one. So I will give you the link in my description. Um, this is it. This is an example of a virtual host. I'm going to run this command. So what I'm going to do is sudo vi etc httpd conf.d slash vhost.conf. That means I'm going to edit the virtual host configuration. And then um, this is an example for a virtual host. I just copy it here. Edit in a notepad because it has some uh, dummy or dummy text or placeholder text which you need to replace. Okay. So these are placeholder text which I need to replace. First of all, server name. The server name should be I'm going to use this nodejstips.com. So 2022.nodejstips.com. Server alias, this is optional. You can use, or if you have multiple subdomains, I don't have. So I'm just going to comment it out. Then document root, I'm going to keep it as it is. And then server admin. You can change it, your email address, that's optional. Directory, that is also fine. So let's copy this. And then I'm going to press I, I for insert, and paste the values. Save. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I have created this folder, which I need to create now. Okay, I've created the folder. Let's restart uh, our Apache server. Okay, now I'm going to point my subdomain to this IP address. How? I need to copy the IP address of this uh, instance, this IP address, and I need to create a new record. A record, it should be 2022 is the IP address and there is no proxy. So now, um, what I have to do is I'm going to install the Let's Encrypt. sudo certport Apache. Put my email address info at com. Yes. 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 <clears throat> okay, that's it. My SSL certificate setup has been done. Let me uh, clear this screen. I am into AWS. I need to go to that folder for www slash AWS. Clear the screen. 
Then I'm going to create a file sudo vi index.php and I'm going to create a PHP info file. So now if I try to run this, notjstips.com uh, slash index.php it will show index.php with php version 8 this certificate is secure valid it is issued today february 10 and valid till 11th of may three months from now so looks good we have um so we have created a new instance we have created iam role we have created virtual host, we have set up SSL certificate, we have pointed out domain or subdomain into this IP address or server. And after that, we can do anything as we want. So a um, lot of things of today. I hope you will try to practice this in your own free AWS account. You, you can do this without any cost. It's all free and um, it should be very easy. It took me, I think, 15 minutes. You can set up your SSL certificate in 15 minutes. So thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and I will create new uh, videos on SSL certificate, Node.js, PHP, and also AWS. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.